Hi guys, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm going to do a product review. I recently bought a new paintbrush. It's by a company, they're called Klingon Brushes. Have you guys heard of these? If you paint furniture, do chalk painting, or you're a hobbyist, or you're an amateur do-it-yourselfer, uh, you might have heard of these brushes. They're all over Facebook. They're on a couple of bloggers that I know that uh, refinish furniture. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna do a review. And no, Klingon is not sponsoring me. I'm not getting any kickback for this video. And I'm not a reseller or retailer for Klingon. I just wanted to put that out there. So I went ahead and purchased this brush off of um, a woman off her Etsy site. And I bought the R20. There's all these different names for their brushes. Um, so this is an R20. I believe the diameter, it's the oval or round brush. I'll have to look, it looks more oval. Um, it's an inch and a half in diameter. And I painted my first project with this brush. It was a custom order. It's this beautiful antique desk that I just finished. And I'm gonna say out of five stars, I'm gonna give this brush a 4.8. And I'm gonna tell you why I didn't give you the, the full five stars, but I'm kind of a tough cookie when it comes to reviewing stuff. But I'm gonna get into the guts of what I like about this brush so much and what were the few things that kind of frustrated me. With me. So stick with me. I'm gonna reposition my camera where you can see my projects and we'll get into my full review of the Klingon brush. Okay, you guys, I'm back to give my full review on the Klingon brush. Um, I misspoke earlier. I said I had the R20, which was an oval brush. It is not. This is the round brush. And the diameter on this is an inch and a half. You can see here. So this is the largest of the round brushes that they sell. Uh, so you heard me in the last segment. I said I gave this a 4.8 stars out of five stars. And I'm going to go into why I didn't exactly give it five stars, but I got to say overall, I was really, really impressed with the performance of this brush. I've been professionally painting antique furniture now for six years, and I normally use um, brushes that I bought off Amazon or in craft stores, and they normally look like these brushes here. These run me about $15 to $20 a piece and they range in diameters as well. Like this one's smaller than that one. Um, what happens with these other brushes, what I don't like is the bristles do come loose and um, over time and they do flare out over time. You can see this one is starting to flare. Even though after I'm done washing all my brushes, I do wrap them in a paper towel um, to try to preserve the roundness of the brush. Uh, but over time, they do get damaged and they do get old. So what drew me to buy a Klingon brush is what I was seeing them all over Facebook and on other bloggers, uh, websites and stuff like that. And they were claiming they don't shed, that they're easier to clean. And I thought, okay, I'm, I'm going to try it. The only drawback for me was they're a little more on the expensive side for me. Um, this particular brush with shipping cost me $36. I don't normally spend that much on a brush, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it. I saw so many positive reviews. I thought, what can I lose? So that is the most positive thing I can say about this brush, I did not lose one bristle the whole time I painted. This piece right here, this is a custom piece I just did for a customer. Um, I tried the brush out and it gave such a smooth, beautiful finish to this desk. I'm amazed and I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy a Klingon brush earlier. Um, I didn't lose one bristle the entire time. I put on probably four or five coats of white paint on this piece and not one time did I pick one bristle from this brush out of my finish. So that's a win right there for me because I'm usually constantly pulling out bristles in my finish when I'm using my other brushes here or, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm using a chip brush. So the, normally the type of brushes that I use are these brushes when I'm painting a big project. I'll use a foam brush when I'm putting on um, a polyurethane 
um, finish and then I'll use a chip brush when I'm applying stain or sometimes I use an old chip brush when I'm doing a dry brush technique. So for me to invest in an expensive brush and for me to give it a 4.8 out of 5 stars, that's pretty impressive in my book for me. So some of the pros, like I said, I didn't lose any bristles. The other selling point of these brushes is that the cleaning time um, to clean these brushes. Now, I found the first time I used the brush, because I'd use it multiple times um, in between layering this paint, um, I was told that you are supposed to submerge these Klingon brushes in water at all times, even when they're not in use. And the reason being is the selling point of this brush is that when you're done using the brush, um, and you can only use these brushes with water-based products, by the way, should have probably said that earlier, you're to submerge your brush after you're done using it. You don't have to scrub it, you don't have to be under the sink, trying to clean it with soap. You simply put it in water. Now, I bought this paint pail at Walmart for like four bucks, which is pretty cool. Um, it has some magnets right here, and they hold my Klingon brush, like so. And that way I can keep my brush at all times submerged in water. I've seen other people online put their Klingon brush in a mason jar with like a um, chip clip to keep it on the side. Um, I thought there's gotta be a better way than that. So I looked and I found this cool little contraption at Walmart. Otherwise Klingon, I believe sells um, a paint stand, but it's, it's pretty expensive and I'm cheap. <laughs> so I went this route and it works just fine. Um, one of the reasons, there was two reasons I didn't give this brush five stars. The first one was, does it self clean like it says it does? I'm gonna say pretty close it does. I still found that I had to wash the brush a little bit with a little bit of um, Dawn soap like I normally do my other brushes. And I just had to get some of those, uh, some of the paint still got stuck on the bristles and I had to clean it. So it's not completely self-cleaning, uh, it mostly is. Um, it did cut my cleaning brush time immensely. Um, also for me, the handles are longer on a Klingon brush than I'm used to. So I'm going to have to readjust, readjust the way I grip a brush. But you can see here normally on my other brushes, what I'm used to is this length in a handle and there's the Klingon. So it's a little longer. So I found the first time I was using it, the way I was gripping it uh, was giving me kind of like a hand cramp. So I had to readjust. So I'm getting used to it. It's just, it's a different way for me to hold a brush. So that's another reason um, why I didn't get it, give it a full five stars and the cost. It is more expensive, but like they say, you get what you pay for. So that kind of cancels itself out. So that's why I gave it a 4.8 out of five stars. I really love it. Um, I'm excited to get some more. Um, they do have different styles of brushes. They have um, angled brushes. I'm reading off this little piece of paper here. They have flat brushes, round brushes, angled brushes, and oval brushes and there's different diameters. So I think the next one I'm gonna get is probably a flat brush or an oval brush. Um, I like the larger in diameter brushes because I usually do larger pieces. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with this brush. Um, like I said, I can't wait to get another one. <laughs> um, Christmas list. Um, again, I'm doing this video just as a business owner saying how much I like this brush. Um, I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm not being sponsored by Klingon. I'm not a retailer. I don't sell these brushes. It's just when I come across a product that I really like, um, I wanna talk about it. And I wanna let other people know how great it is. So like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I believe I'm off, it's been a while. It's been like a month since I've done a YouTube video because it's summertime or was summertime. I had my kids a lot and now they're back in school. So I feel like I can get back into the groove of things. So I'm trying to remember where my subscribe button is. It's off to the left. I always have to remember the Beyonce song. To the left, to the left. Yeah, to the left. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've used a Klingon brush, I want to know how do you clean them? Because um, I'm still having a little bit of paint 
that sticks on the brush. So how do you cl clean your Klingon brush? Um, if you have any more questions about the brush, leave it for me in the comment sections. I'm happy to help. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'm hopefully going to be doing some more YouTube videos um, as my kids have started school and I'm getting back into the groove of things. So thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you again soon.